bottom line is it's math. You're already seeing central banks stuck. Mm -hmm. And the Federal Reserve is also stuck. It's mathematics at this point. It's, it's game over. There is no way out. Do you find it odd, Bill, that a lot of these mainstream outlets, they're never talking about precious metals? Like we have cryptos came out that is basically crashing this week and nobody's talking about silver or gold? Uh, nothing about the mainstream media surprises me. I've, I've, I'm on the record saying that the easiest way to decipher uh, something true versus false is whatever side mainstream media takes is wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, for mainstream media to ignore gold and silver, why would that? I mean, we've been doing this for you know 20 years, 20 years plus. Um, it does not surprise me at all because the official narrative has been dollar good, gold slash silver bad. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're, they're not going to say anything about gold or silver. They're not going to bring it up. They don't want any questions asked because it is the exit. Gold and silver are the exit. And, uh, you know, the powers that be fully understand that. And they don't want people to understand that the way out from in front of trouble is gold and silver. Well, you know, that's uh, what yeah, I don't I don't really watch CNBC that much anymore or much at all. Uh, <laughs> I see I see a lot of clips on, on social media of CNBC. But whenever they, it seems like the only time they bring up gold, uh, for example, is when they're talking about Bitcoin or other cryptos. And it's always to cast gold as, you know, so, sort of this archaic old thing that is being replaced. And that, that's been sort of the narrative the past, I don't know, a couple of years. Uh, the only time gold gets brought up is in sort of contrast to Bitcoin. But we've had this sort of crypto Bitcoin crash in the past couple of months. Bitcoin's down, you know, 60 some odd percent, maybe more if someone wants to do the math. Um, but you haven't seen that narrative change. They're not talking about gold or silver in any sort of positive light. Gold's held up pretty, it's been one of the best performing assets this year. It's up slightly, whereas most of the market is down. Tech has crashed. Crypto's crashed. Gold's up a few percentage points. Why is that? Well, gold and oil are the only two, two things really that are, are up this year. Um, understand this crypto crash it's yes, it's price. I mean, you're seeing the cryptos uh, crashing price wise. They're down anywhere from 60 to 90 percent from their highs. But the real key in the crypto market now is you've got exchanges themselves that are going under. You have stable coins that have broken the buck. You have exchanges that are telling people you can't have your money. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that's a that is a disaster waiting to happen. Um, on top of that, something else is going on that has gotten almost no press at all is that there are actually bank runs now in China. It started uh, two or three weeks ago, and uh, it turns out these QR codes turn red. In other words, you're not allowed to leave your your vicinity. Uh, you know, if, if you're somebody who lost money and planning to go protest, your QR code's red, and then they just haul you away. That's crazy. So there is your danger right there on QR codes is that they can prevent you from uh, from protesting. They can prevent you from leaving your, your immediate area. Uh, they can prevent you from going to another area to buy food or what have you. So, I mean, that's, that's another, that's another thing that the, the, uh, the media has completely ignored and i trust me a bank run a bank run in china is i mean if that if this spreads it's you're looking at game over so as silver and gold there's <clears throat> you know what you see this attitude on wall street silver on our reddit community some people are are crying all the time but you know why isn't silver <laughs> or gold up other people take the attitude of hey if they want if it's cheap right now take advantage of it this is the last chance you're going to get buy as much as you can while it's artificially cheap because this ain't going to last. Is that sort of the attitude you're taking at this point? Well, my attitude toward that is anybody who's whining about it, I just tell them shut up and sell your silver and go away. 
<laughs> we'll take because it. I'll take you're it. holding gold. You're holding gold and you're holding silver for at this point, you're holding it for the end game. Right. You're holding it for the very end. And what we're looking at is the end of empire. That's what's happening in the West. That's what's happening in the U S it is end of empire. So do you want to go through that end of empire sitting on dollars or euros or yen or what have you, or do you want to sit on real money, God's money, gold and silver? I mean, if you're, if, if you're doing this to protect yourself and get yourself into whatever the next system looks like is going to look like with real wealth. There's only two ways to do it. Gold and silver. You know, that's a good point. What you just brought up with the yen and the Euro, You're, the gold, gold is already setting new highs against the yen and the Euro. It's at all time highs right now. Right. And we'll add that chart to the screen. Um, you know, so in dollar terms, yes, we're, we're about what 200 bucks below the high all time high. But it's, I think it's just a matter of right. time before it happens in dollars also. Um, the, you know, right now, the, Euro, the yen is totally falling apart. They've reached the end game. Uh, the, the, the market's lost confidence in what the Japanese central bank's doing uh, with their yield curve control and their bond, their unlimited QE. <laughs> Europe's having all these problems where they can't stop QE because they've got to keep, keep supporting Greece, Italy, Spain, and those other basket case countries. Um, it's just a matter of time here for the U.S. We're going to follow. But right now, you know, the dollar looks like the least worst in the dirty laundry basket, right? That's what's the only thing holding us back at this point. The bottom line is it's math. You're already seeing central banks stuck. Mm -hmm. And the Federal Reserve is also stuck. It's mathematics at this point. It's, it's game over. There is no way out.